They have this FDE one. Yep. Sort of discontinued. Technic I would say technically discontinued. It may come back. I can't imagine they would get rid of it for it, that long. It's got to be a popular color with them. They've got olive drab. That mm -hmm. one's cool too. Love it. Uh, Gunmetal gray. That's kind of darker. It's kind of like the titanium yeah. finish, but a little darker. Okay. And a camo variant, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I bet you that thing is just a bear to match if you're really particular about your yeah. gun, your anodizing colors matching. Anodization of aluminum is kind of a guessing game. And so yeah. when they do a camo pattern, it just kind of, kind of comes out as it comes out. Oh, yeah. Hard to replicate as well. But I bet all of these special editions of the M2R Pro Warrior sell very quickly. Oh, yeah. The Olight community is quite large. It's very enthusiastic, and there are collectors. Yep. You need to understand that about Olight. There are people that don't really use the lights. Are well, they use them, but they don't use all the ones they buy. Yeah. They just buy every cool new collectible that Olight issues. Flashaholics that specialize in Olight brand. I wouldn't say that's us. We're more of users. We use Olight products out in the desert for testing guns, camping, and Wolverine operations. VTO. And just doing the stuff we do in TMP that you've seen. Um, but uh, we sure do love the product. And we also appreciate the second cool coloration oh, like yeah. we're talking about. I love their their system. They're smart. Love they em. do new colors. Love they em. keep them fresh. They rotate them. Mm -hmm. And they do some pretty good deals. They do some smoking deals. So when we were filming this video, <laughs> it's so funny. What did they say? Help us test our new website yeah. by buying a new product? Yeah. They're very crafty, aren't they? Yeah. It was like, we're trying out a flash sale to see if the system works <laughs> for the next three hours. Just go ahead and throw that a in your cart. 50% off. Oh, also we got this. I think the, the They're full very size, smart. They have it like blue and red mm -hmm. for their more civilian oriented. Okay. They have like camp lights that are a bit brighter. They had a red, white, and blue version of this too, didn't they? Yeah. It was like an American Super flag. cool. Super cool. So we have a year of use on this light, this exact one, the M2R Pro. You can see it's worn. Uh, TD used it for six months. I used it for six months. Uh, it wasn't our only light that we carried, but we put it in our EDC rotation. And so this tabletop review will reflect our opinions of the light. Uh, we won't make it overly technical. Hopefully, we'll just kind of give you our opinions and whether it's a light that you might want to add to your system, whether it's an EDC system, a weapon system, a home security system, uh, maybe a medical kit. Uh, I guess I'll quickly go over that because guys like it when we talk about POU. Yeah. Um, we're going to say um, an amped up EDC light. Yeah. Using it back to back against the S20. Which is a fantastic reference standard. The I like this for a wintertime light. Interesting. It, you, Tell them why. Because you have to deal with a lot more darkness. Mm -hmm. You know, the sun's almost perennially down. The yeah. clouds. So if you're rummaging around, like yeah. you're going out in the shed trying to find something, right. it's kind of nice knowing you have extended runtime. Yeah. And the, the heat that it puts out at high levels is kind of nice in the winter. Interesting. Nice. 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 Yeah. I, was, I wasn't going to say that. Uh, the 21700 battery that this uses is fantastic. And yeah. what I've always said in my flashlight reviews is it's all about the battery. Yep. Pretty much. I mean, throw times, run times. And so Olight gets it. A lot of other companies get it too, not just Olight. Here's an Ace Beam EC35. I reviewed this. It's a fantastic light. Running an 18650. Fantastic. Still highly recommended. It's just on the table for decoration. But this is better than an 18650. It's running a 5,000 milliamp battery. Yeah. So take that. Uh, I found carrying this in an EDC roll is I just never ran out of battery power. Yeah, it took me it took, five days dude, of consistent use. Well, you must have been using that a lot. Was, yeah. Mine would run for like two weeks and I yeah. wasn't charging it. And I use my lights like all the time. Yep. All the time I'm using my lights. So uh, it, it's an interesting light, philosophy of use, weapon light. Yep. Now in our testing and our EDC use, what we found is this is not a thrower. You can see that in that it's not really a um, a deep bezel. See how it's kind of shallow? No, it's an area light. Yeah. So if you want a weapon light, which by the way is still 6.5 ounces, 6.4, and you're good with that, that's kind of heavy for a weapon light, says me. You know me, Mr. Lightweight. Light and everything. Um, it's good, I would say, probably out to 50 yards of really awesome, solid light. Uh, beyond that, I probably would put something else on that has a more 
throw capability. Show them what you got on the MCX. I, I think it makes a better weapon light than you may give it credit for, for the majority of home defense users. Okay. Would you go beyond 50 yards no, from what no you way. saw? But for a lot of guys, okay. it would be perfectly, like on an AR pistol in, or something, yeah. just for the house. I'm in total agreement with that. As long as you say it's closer range, I, I totally yeah. agree. So don't remember, or don't remember, don't forget the Olight Odin. So Dude. that is a dedicated weapon light. It's on an MCX right here. Let me zoom out a little bit here. And we hope to tabletop that separately. If you guys support in views, these light reviews, we'll give you more. If not, then we'll just back burner this and you may not see the review for like two years. You may, may never see it. Really depends on viewer interest, but this is, undergoing testing this is an odin light it's it's not super lightweight but it but it's super weapon oriented yeah and he's got a remote pressure switch on there do you like that setup by the way yeah, yeah, yeah. i think this I just, is a gigantic switch it's big oh yeah my gosh yeah you could flip it the other way too but i see what you did so you tighten the cable up so yeah. it's not in your way and you don't have to zip tire yeah this is provisional this is still yeah, we, I slapped it on for the background, and I don't think the ergos are all that great. You're experimenting. But I love this mount that they have. It's probably a little too heavy, but it you is. can unlock this and slide it out if you want it sideways. Mm -hmm. This is the Odin, guys, the Odin. And look at the, the cute little tail cap on there. Super cool. Magnetic lock. Look at that. Very cool. I generally, with a weapon mount of light on a tactical carbine or a rifle, I don't mind actuating it with my thumb. I do too. It's just simple. Yeah. Simple. I don't have to worry about a switch, yeah. more weight, more complexity. I just go with a KISS principle. Yep. Okay, so that's the Odin. Uh, that's going to be much more capable in a, in a probably rifle, tactical carbine, maybe shotgun philosophy of use. But like TD and I are saying, if you, if you want something that's probably more affordable, because I don't think this one is that expensive for what you're getting, and you're going to limit it to 50 meters and, and under. I you're I good love to go. the deal, man. You're good to go. Especially You're when you combine go. it with their, mm -hmm. say, like, we're coming up on the holidays. <laughs> I know. Dude. I know. They have killer, killer deals uh, during Thanksgiving. So uh, set some money aside. Welcome to the addiction. Uh, this is a weapon light right here. So we purchased this. Uh, we purchased a light, too. A light did not give this to us. We use our donation money to be a completely independent reviewing voice. Yeah. Uh, this is, as you can see, the EWM25. Uh, they make two versions and 24 millimeter, 27 and a half. So there you go. A Warrior, the Warrior X. I, I haven't really tried to fit it on this, but they have a version of this that fits that. And you could probably use a scope ring too, because this is a 1.03 inch body on that. Mm. So that that should fit in a one inch scope ring, although I didn't do it. And we didn't weapon mount it. Uh, we didn't test it in that. We just did throw testing and again, just UDCable. Uh, would I inter integrate it into a bug out kit? No, it's too heavy for that. The battery's too heavy. Uh, I would still go with an S series. Uh, this one right here, the fantastic uh, Olight S20 series. And the battery. The, yeah, the batteries. These are they're, they're fantastic. still niche in the they're fantastic in the real world. Right, it's right. It's a nerd's battery still, right. but it's coming along. Mm -hmm. That isn't this a customized twenty one seven hundred? Uh, I don't know, customized, but yeah, it's a 21700. I'm pretty sure they tell you you, you should use their batteries in it. To uh, get I max would life. go with that, yes. Now, there, there's probably some other makers that, that make a 21700. It's a new battery system to us. We've only had it for a year. We love it, and we didn't go out and buy others, other ones because I didn't really see a need. Did yeah. you? Mm -mm. Uh, so, probably not a bug out kit, camping light, backpacking light. Nope, too heavy. Uh, vehicle light, absolutely. Motorcycle light, yeah, um, could. But I still watch the ounces on my motorcycles. Mm. I'm still nuts of that way. Uh, I'll run this. S20 is perfect. S20 series, perfect. The S30 that I reviewed a few months ago, perfect. I think this would be a kind of a, like if you have crash bars and you have one of those little light mounts and you Ooh, wanted yeah. to show the area, like if you're on a adventure bike out in the dirt. You so you're gonna use it a handlebar light. That's yeah, another philosophy of use like for a, a bicycle too. Area, so you mm -hmm. can see where you're crawling over at night. You can buy bicycle mounts for this, use it as a bike light, and yes, it, it will work totally for that. Yeah. Also as a defensive tool light, because that crenellated bezel is something else, we noticed carrying it in pocket, it's somewhat obnoxious because it's so aggressive. Yeah. Might be, um, I don't know, a reason to get a holster for it and carry it in the holster. And I think, don't they make a plastic holster for this? I think they do. I think so. So you can mount it. It kind of is really cool, super cool. You click it in. We just carried it in pocket with a clip. 
<clears throat> that's philosophy of use. We probably forgot some, but you guys get it. You know how lights work. Let's go over the features super quick. If you're into the nerdy details, it has a Cree XHP 35 HD NW D-domed LED. NW. TD. That's Standing a, for? It's jargon for a non-flash holic. It stands for no wieners. No wieners. Yeah. No wieners Real allowed. Technical. Yep. In the flashlight community, they usually take it to mean neutral white. Ah. Uh, yeah. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Non-orange peel reflector. It's not very deep. This is an area light in our estimation and our experience. Although the throws are adequate. We'll go over that later in the review. Uh, tempered lens, AR coated, crenellated bezel. I assure you the bezel is quite crenellated. <laughs> this thing is aggressive. Dude, you could rip some ass with it. You could. I, I really like it in terms of a tactical flashlight, and the M2R Pro is meant as a tactical flashlight. Yeah. And by the way, the Warrior has a bunch of variations. This is just this variation that we're covering. Yep. And it will continue to evolve, change, the name will change, the battery may change, and you'll just see it happen it seems like every two years they just yeah. redo the lights. And they've been if really good. Quicker. That's one thing I like about their lineup. When it evolves, mm -hmm. it evolves similar to what it was before. Yeah. Not like you see right. other people where they keep the name, but it's entirely different in function and style. Like the, you can see the evolution of the S20. Yeah. It's right. It's better. That's it. Well, and the only thing I said in that S20 review is I just don't like they made it a little bit heavier and a little bit yeah. bigger. Most guys won't care, but you know me and the weight issue. Where's it at? Oh, here it is. That. Back to features. Uh, so, no cooling fins on this head. Anti-roll bezel right here. There's your side switch. We'll go over that here in a second. 6000 series aluminum for the body. IPX8 water resistant. We have talked about that over a decade. There's your clip. How'd you like this in carrying it? I really like the clip. I like this one better. Just a dedicated one. When they are trying to do the double loop over clip, and you can still get these, these clips right here, at least for the S20 series you can. This one seems to hold better. This one, see how it kind of comes in a loop over? I found that it would slide out of the pocket easier than uh -huh. that one. And then you can also mount it on your hat. I did that, but a 6.5 ounce yeah. light is a little bit chunky. It slips off. What are you gonna say? The, I actually kind of like this clip because you can, kind of thread a strap mm -hmm. and it helps keep it. So when I had something slung mm -hmm. over my shoulder and I wanted some area light, I'd run the strap through, mm -hmm. double it through there, and it would lock it kind of at waist level. Nice, and okay. So I, you can find some niche uses for it. Yeah, so it's still good. It did not fall off in my use. Uh, I'm sure I could make it fall off if I start using it in tactical shoots out in the desert. Yeah. Uh, Backpack and all the hard stuff. Usually going in and out of the Wolverine is really hard on a light. It'll pop uh, the side clips off yeah. a lot. This part is so cool. Yeah. The really nice milling on the body. I find it provides real good traction, as does this one. Yeah. But it's not obnoxious. Do you think so? What I like is that it's kind of self clearing. Mm. Like some of these, when they have cooling fins, they're really deep and they end up getting just like pocket lint and hair and just stuff yeah. stuck in it and it looks gross. <laughs> these ones at least are wide enough that in the Agreed. course, of, I've never had anything pack in there, just like the yeah. S20. Yeah, and if they do a great job with it. So great milling on the side, nice attention to detail here. And actually, I didn't say cooling fins. I think this does serve to dissipate heat somewhat on the M2R Pro. And then we have uh, the charging cap here and the switch. So we'll go over the switch here in just a second. Magnetic also, so you can attach it to a magnetic surface. Like it's fantastic. Very cool. We got a three prong uh, end cap here. It doesn't really tail stand. It's just not stable enough. You can try it, but it's gonna kinda wobble and eventually fall over. Uh, maybe a slight improvement they could have done is do four. Yeah. Do four and then it'd be, I don't know more stable. And then let's unscrew it. We'll show you inside super quick. Square threads, anodized in the same color. Uh, this is spring loaded, this gold plated cap. This is spring loaded. So again, it could absorb recoil of a recoiling weapon. Here's the amazing 21700 battery, 5,000 milliamps. We love this battery. Looking inside, there's a spring there too. So it's actually double springs. When you get it, you'll have a double insulator on your M2R Pro. Of course, you have to take that off if you want your freaking light to work. O-ring, simple. And it's a removable battery. I love that. We love that. So we reviewed the Javelot. 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 
Uh, go watch that review separately. And that is a battery pack that you either have to purchase or have another one charged. Yeah. It's a great light, minor downside with that certain light. Okay, let's go over uh, functions, if I get it right. All these lights have their own way of working and we use a lot of different lights, so sometimes we get it wrong. Uh, there's two, two modes that you can access from the tail cap right here. So let's turn this off right here. Okay, I turned on night mode so you can see what we're doing. So if I half press this tail cap switch like that, it gives me low mode. Mm. Turn it off, just press again. If I do a press and hold, that should be momentary low if I don't go down all the way. So I'm just holding it and pressing it and then I release. So that's momentary. Now if I do a full press and hold it, that's gonna be momentary high right here. Then I release, it should go off. But if I do a full press and release, it stays on. Mm -hmm. So it takes some getting used to. Uh, and the, this tail cap is the same as on the Javelot. Javelot! Yeah, same one. So we get confused too, just practice with it, you'll get it. I think most of you guys will be accessing it through the side switch. Yeah. Which is fantastic. And if you want the strobe mode, by the way, it does have a strobe mode. You can do three quick presses on the side switch. There's your strobe mode, which we use with our backpacking lights, not so much with a light of this size. And we use it to locate steel targets and vehicles we parked in the woods and also tents when we go out for water purification. Now, I really like this about the M2R. So if I do, if I just want to access uh, the turbo mode, it's a quick two press. There's turbo. Okay, and we'll go through run times here in a second. First, we're gonna scream through the modes and notice the coloration of the button. That's cool. That's a way easy way to get to the turbo mode. Then we go yeah. off. And if I just want to go to the regular modes, the automatic modes, I'll just press briefly. The reason I say I like it because I don't have to press and hold. Yeah. There's some other lights we've reviewed that you have to press and hold to turn on the flashlight. I don't like it when they do that because it, it's some, you just want it to be easy. Press on, press off. And press it's on, quicker. Press off. Yes. If you need to grab right. something real quick, you aren't right. sitting there one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Right. Oh, now it's on. And then repeating for off. Right. Just a little flash is all you need. Correct. Oh, so that's awesome. And then to cycle through the modes, um, all you do is press and hold. So we went low to medium, and then next highest level, next highest level, and then it should go back to low. Now this is not Firefly mode, and I love that it has a Firefly mode. Yeah. So in Firefly flow, can't speak. In Firefly mode, it will run four thousand days. Four thousand days. That's incredible. Four thousand. Turn it off. Days. And I think the way you access that is just press uh, or hold for two seconds. Ah. There it is. So there's Firefly mode and it will memorize that. So this is a great battery extension mode like we've always talked about when you're away from light pollution, away from, a, away from an urban environment. The Firefly mode is fantastic. That's cool. And that's your UI. I think it's a great UI. It's easy to access as pretty much all of the UIs that is user interfaces are that Olight puts together. I love the Firefly mode. Uh, I don't think this has an SOS mode. If it does, I'm missing it. Uh, but remember for turbo, in any mode, press twice quickly on the side switch and you'll go to turbo. And now we talk about run times. Just learn this, we're kind of goofballs so when it comes to flashlights sometimes. Um, this will go for about 4.5 minutes and then it steps down. That's really cool. Isn't that cool? That it doesn't just yeah. tap out. It steps down. So uh, at, at this level though, it's 1800 lumens. That's cranking, dude. That's cranking that, that again, package. Yeah, you, how small that is? Dude. It's only slightly bigger than the S2. <laughs> well, more than slightly, but pretty close. But it's pocketable. It's pocketable. So, dude, eight, uh, 1,800 lumens, they're saying 300 meter throw. I would half that to about 150. And then it will step down to about 750 lumens for 145 minutes, and then it will step down to about 250 lumens for 45 minutes, if you just leave it on turbo. Smoking. And then they have a note in the instructions, don't use turbo too long or something like that. Don't, just don't overheat the light. Now it's in level two. Kind of high mode. That's what yeah. I think of this. This the, is high mode. One step below turbo. Yeah. Usable high mode. Usable high mode. Turbo is a bit much. Turbo is what you turn on when your hands are cold. Yeah. You need to be nice and toasty. Yeah. It can be a pocket heater. So this is about 750 lumens 
it will burn about 160 minutes and then it will step down to 250 lumens stepping down to about 40 minutes again those times are averages in cold weather it will be a lot less I think it's that one right there okay so this one is level 3 250 lumens 10 hours there's no step down because it's not generating enough heat and I'm going totally backwards on this <laughs> level 5 is 15 lumens 130 hours and then level 6 that will be low notice it memorized that firefly mode it's in the cycle right now level 5 15 lumens 130 hours and then you saw firefly already we talked about it a whopping that's one firefly. lumen yeah. It is only one lumen. Van lumen. Van lumen. Uh, now, throw distances. Uh, again, I would say they go way past 50 meters. Don't get us wrong. Yeah. Um, but for usable light, I mean, really identifying like a bad guy carrying a weapon, I would say 50 meters. What's it rated out to? Uh, Distance wise. 300 meters? Yeah, that's at turbo at 1800 lumens. Or if you use cool guy units, it's 984 feet. Nice. Yeah, but nice. Half it. Let's say 150 meters. That's what we would take it to. Yeah. That's still pretty amazing. Yeah. That's beyond what you'd be shooting at the range normally. Yeah. So the beam pattern, by the way, let me turn this off real quick. And we're showing you infield testing, no doubt of this. We have a beautiful F4U Corsair right here. Isn't that cool? Beam pattern is fantastic. Nice aura. There's no artifacts. It's clean really precise and then uh, let me just change the beam here to cycle through them so you can see them super technical production right here and then tell them about the light on the side switch right here what's it mean um well you have your standard uh stated or estimated battery life right which is i think isn't it 90 and above is green uh 75 percent or above is green seems like it goes so quick in practice yeah and and it will change if it gets cold because we were using this in cold weather and you look down it's green and then next thing you know it's orange yeah. which is 30 to 75 percent and then below 30 percent it goes red and then if it goes uh, below 10 percent that means you're getting ready to die yep it means you got sars and it means you need to recharge your light which we'll talk about right now so let me see where did the tarp charging switch go there are two different versions that we found worked with this this is the newer version of the mcc tail cap this comes in the package so you charge your 21700 like this uh, here's an amazon basics battery pack it's on and then i even have the light on notice the lights on and it's still charging turn that light off yeah. so you can see it so these are really cool these charging tail caps will let you know that what it's doing and it turns green when it's done. Super cool. Now, I found that this older one, this is an older tail cap shown by its black surface. This one has a red surface, the newer one. And this one puts out less. So this is just a one amp tail cap. This one puts out up to two amps. As you can see, it's yeah. cleverly marked. Supposedly it's like a 100% increase in charging speed. Really? Yeah. Uh, we love these tail caps. We actually love the whole magnetic base system. Although sometimes it can be annoying. Um, let me see if I have to turn this off for this one though. I love how compact it is just for travel. You don't need a full size battery cradle. Yes, so this is the one amp and I'm still getting charging and this is out of a portable battery pack y'all. Right here. So uh, it will work. If you have some other tail caps, the point uh, we're showing is don't be, oh my gosh, I gotta use it, yeah. this one. If it's giving you a red, that means it's charging. And there are dedicated chargers for the 21700. Uh, there you go. It, it's a fantastic light. It's highly recommended. Here's the box, by the way. They do perfect boxes. The boxes yeah. are so cool, we do not throw them away. Yeah. We keep them because they're compact enough to store. It's a great place to store your battery. Very nicely done box. Legible. Says all the specifications on it. Some we may have gotten wrong. We don't really care. <laughs> and it's magnetic. Look at that, super cool. Oh yeah, this is the weapon tail cap. We forgot to show you this right here. So this will be purchased separately and it's the same type of switch you saw on that Odin. Yeah. So cool, look at that, dude. Yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy. Uh, so do we prefer it for EDC use over this, over an S20 and S2? Uh, what do you think? Depends. No, you gotta give me a definitive answer, dude. What's, uh, what's your answer overall? Yes, I think. You like the M2 R Pro? Yeah. 
It's funny you sh should say that because they have a mini out now. So oh, sweet. It's the Olight Warrior Mini, about 80 bucks, 1500 lumens, six brightness levels, 3500 milliamp, because that's an 18650 battery. It also has Firefly. Dude, that sounds even better. It has Firefly mode at one Ooh. lumen, and it will run for 4,000 days as well. Sweet. And then 500 lumen at 218 minutes is IPX8, and it only weighs 3.6 ounces. Dude. Watch for that one. So we're going to get one of those and review it. It's going to what that's going to do is really compete with this one. Yeah. It's really going to complete compete with the S20. It is. Uh, there you go. We got to run. Thank you so much for the support. It's a fantastic light. Another thumbs up to Olight, don't you think? It's awesome. A round of applause for Olight. Unfancy project. Keep watching. A lot more fun and hopefully informative, helpful, money-saving content coming your way.